A question asked by Jan T is what types of careers do ENFPs tend to flourish in? And what I've noticed when I've studied ENFPs is they can fall into a lot of different fields depending on their subtypes and their development, of course. But one of the fields that I tend to see them brilliant uh, in are, for example, the recreation sector as music artists and actors. A lot of ENFPs are actors and it's great for them. It's a good chance to explore your roles and your different uh, abilities uh, through a camera. I find that ENFPs can also flourish in art, uh, fields such as journalism, for example, where they can use extrovert intuition to gather a lot of information about people, to do uh, scoops, to find hidden things about people. Uh, they're good at uh, overall uh, studying and using their detective function to figure things out. Um, ENFPs can be good artists and poets often. I find a lot of ENFPs working in poetry. And ENFPs are often good project managers. I see them as good at finding out uh, how to solve problems and being the creative type that you need to be to be a project manager. ENFPs are good travelers and adventurers. They are very good at being, uh, for example, in fields such as neuroscience, where you can use extrovert intuition to study patterns and uh, to figure out which activities in the brain correlate to which behavior. Uh, they're good at the gaming industry, for example. They can be good gamers. A lot of gamers are ENFPs. And I've noticed that a lot of game developers are ENFPs. For example, the developers of Magic the Gathering or developers of Blizzard. I find it's a good field for them to develop board games and to develop video games and concept video games since that's a sense to teach people how to have fun. I find the ENFPs are great at overall teaching people how to have fun and how to enjoy themselves. That's all I can say for now. There are of course a lot of different fields and careers that are great for ENFPs but these are just a few of the ones I've noticed.